are journalists artists? It's kind of an interesting question, actually. I was down in Tribeca with a few of my friends earlier this week. Honestly, not too far away from where Taylor Swift and Jay-Z allegedly live. Though I've never seen them there once. Honestly, I think they might just be parking their money there as an investment. Let's, let's, be, <laughs> let's be real here for a minute. But my friends and I were on a boat eating oysters. As you do when you're a paying member of the bourgeois communist elite. How's that for making fun of journalists? But an interesting argument arose on this boat, an interesting discussion, which was, are journalists artists? And my conclusion was that no, journalists are not artists. Now, some artists may be journalists, but by and large, journalists are not artists. It's an inverse Venn diagram. And this may offend some of you that are in journalism or want to enter media, but hear me out. Here is the, the argument that I, I reached as a conclusion. And the best way I know how to illustrate this argument that journalists are not artists is with a story. When I was 16, a teenager, I had a neighbor that was a beautiful pianist. She could play the piano phenomenally well. I remember coming over one day, she was playing along to a metronome in perfect synchronicity that was just clicking. She was playing each quarter note on perfect beat. And I came in and I removed the sheet music. You know, she was playing Chopin or something fantastic. I came in and I took the book away, as you do when you're 16 and kind of a prick. Sorry about that. But I removed the sheet music and suddenly she stopped playing. She was unable to play the next following four notes. I found this startling. I, I, what do you mean you can't play it? Okay, well, I guess maybe you're learning this piece. Well, play me, play me something else. Play me anything. Play me something you've come up with. She was unable to do it. She could not play without the sheet music. And I found this enlightening. There's a distinction here that I think is important. Here is this perfect person that could play the piano beautifully, fantastic, but was at the mercy of sheet music, was at the mercy of looking at something and then relaying it into musical form. And without it, she was unable to generate, with inside herself, some sort of new original musical idea, a new melody to take her experiences and her observations in life, put them through the filter of her personality, and generate something entirely new. She, wasn't, she couldn't do it, or if she could do it, she'd never done it, her, that, that, that muscle in her mind had atrophied to the point where she was too scared to do it. And I find here is a, an important distinction that there are brilliant technicians and then brilliant improvisationists. To circle back to journalists, if I can here for a minute, to be articulate, journalists are great technicians, but they're not great artists. Journalists, in many ways, need to be parachuted in. That's the whole rule. They're parachuted in to a, to a protest, to a riot, to a war, and they, if they're good, some of the best journalists in, in the world, when they write sentences or tell stories, they're just, wow, they really painted a picture just beautifully of this scene. They're able to recreate this moment fantastic. You know, some of these sentences are just a delight to read. But without that, that sheet music, without that backdrop of an environment of something happening, they're lost. They're not able to generate entire fantasies and fictions, entirely new original ideas. They, they require the event on the ground, something happening for them to report on. And that's the distinction. They're technicians, but not artists. Some of them can be very good technicians, but not often artists. And if you, if you graduate from J school or enter media in Los Angeles or New York, perhaps in Europe as well, you'll realize this to be innately true on some level, that the journalists you're surrounded with do not go home after work and practice journalism. They don't, they're not journaling, trying to create fantasy, you know, late at night burning the midnight oil. No, they go home, they have drinks with their friends, they watch Netflix like the rest of us. Whereas artists, and the true artists that I've known in my life, create for the sole purpose of creating. It's within them. That is the prime mover. And yes, sometimes they're political as well. Their personality might be religious or environmental. And so that, that art, when it gets made, may have an appendance of appendage of environmentalism or religiousness to it. But by and large, they're creating because they must create. Whereas the journalist is always motivated by the ideology. It doesn't come second to the creation. They're motivated because they're interested in politics or because they're environmentally ideological or technology. And that, in fact, that's the whole point of beats. There's the tech beat, the political beat, the environmental beat. 
each time driven by the ideology to focus on this technology or this environmental change. And that's different. That's fundamentally different than the artist that creates solely for the, the purpose of creating itself. It comes from a different place within the soul. And that's not to take anything away from journalists. But in my mind, they're great technicians. They're not artists. Now, certainly, a few artists can be journalists and have been journalists in their, in their careers. Joan Didion comes to mind. Ernest Hemingway also. But by and large, journalists are not artists. And so if you're entering the media in hopes of being around artists, you're going to have to be a little more strategic in finding, finding artists to surround yourself with. That often the best journalists aren't artists. They're merely phenomenally good technicians. And that's a distinction that I think it's important to keep in mind if you want to be surrounded by artists. They're different things. Anyway, hopefully, I know, I'm sure I've offended There's some media people that are watching this that consider themselves artists. And I don't mean to be offensive. Perhaps you are an artist. My point is merely that the, the art the art of journalism isn't really an art, it's a, it's a technician, it's a trade. And that's a fundamental distinction that I think many people would rather overlook. But of course, you can disagree with me. I could be wrong, I often am. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching, if you found this interesting or insightful, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want more journalism videos, subscribe. Thanks for watching, ta-ta for now. See you guys tomorrow, bye.